Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. This is episode number 30 and today we're going to be talking about a thermal imager that's relatively new to Fluke and show a couple of the things that I think are unique and um, might be beneficial for you guys. So we're going to go through three different things on this tool. It's the Fluke TIS 75 Plus and the three things we're going to talk about today is how you blend IR Fusion. I like the new uh, way that Fluke has had the user interface with that, as well as dew point, where it can do color alarm on dew point, and also it can do radiometric, um, radiometric or temperature reading video. And that's the first time we've seen this from Fluke at this price point, because this camera is about $5,500, a little less than $5,500 list price, and it's got a lot of features built into it for that price point. Okay, so as we look at the tool, it comes in a hard uh, like ammo box that you see a lot of the uh, flute cameras come in. And here's the tool. It's the uh, TIS 75 Plus. And you can see a little bit about the experience. You've got the camera, you've got, or the thermal camera, you've got the visual camera. Uh, it does have a focus wheel and a little thing to line up for just basic focus um, or general purpose focus. It does not have laser sharp autofocus like the higher end cameras and it does not have interchangeable lenses. But as far as performance, if you don't need that interchangeable lens, this is gonna be a great camera for us. Let me put this down real quick. Okay, so it heated, it warmed up for us, and we're gonna have some camera. Let me get something. So we see that that uh, glove doesn't have much thermal contrast. So what we can do is how we blend IR Fusion. You just put your finger on the screen. It is a touch screen, which is nice, and you just blend, and you can make it more visual or more thermal. So you can kind of see what you're doing, even if you don't have a lot of thermal contrast, which is kind of cool. We'll see my hand here in a second. You can see it's out of focus. Try to focus that up a little bit. It's hard to do focus with one hand. There we go. There we go. So anyways, the IR Fusion, that's the first thing we were going to talk about. Okay, the next feature we're gonna talk about is the dew point. So in color alarm, you can see, you can set it either below or uh, either above or below a certain temperature where it will give you color on the screen. And in this case, we're gonna use dew point to decide what that color is. And this is a great uh, tool if you're wanting to see, if you're in a basement or somewhere and you wanna see where would I need to set this to see if it's below this temperature, it's gonna condensate water and then have the potential, because it's the dew point, it's gonna condensate that, on water will condensate on that surface and then potentially give you mold. So if we are like this, you can see my wall is a little bit cooler than the rest of the screen, so it puts color around that. Whereas if I put my fingers over that, right, I raise the temperature on the sensor, then it uh, eliminates that color palette. So this is a way if you set it, obviously I messed with it in my basement just to give you an example, but if you set this to actual ambient temperature and actual relative humidity in your environment, then it would show you exactly where the potential for water condensating will be and the potential for uh, mold to be grown. So that's kind of cool for uh, building inspectors. And finally we have video. So in the video, go into capture settings, video, and we have the ability to record fully radiometric video, which means every single pixel on the screen is actually, um, is actually capturing the temperature for the entire video. So what that allows you to do is pause it in the software at any point, put a, uh, a temperature measurement anywhere on there and see what the measurement of that specific pixel would be. So those are the three things I'll talk about right now. I might make some videos to actually go through these a little bit more, um, not just those features, but some of the other features, and uh, we'll talk through that 
Oh, one last feature I almost forgot is there's a feature called asset tagging um, in some of the other cameras, but this is the highest end camera that has asset tagging. And you have the ability to scan, we recommend a QR code. Um, I don't recommend using the barcode. It can do a barcode, but the barcode is a little more finicky. The QR code will take it every time. And then you can get that into your software and it will either put it in certain folders based on that asset tag or um, within Flute Connect you can do it as well. So that's a really cool thing if you just want to go out, you want to put QR codes on all your assets, you could do that and then go through, scan the asset, take a the thermal image of it, and then upload them all later, and then have them all put into the right folder or um, categorized by Flute Connect. And that's kind of where we're seeing these thermal imaging starting to go, is helping the industrial guy manage all of their uh, images more easily. So anyways, I hope that this quick features of the TIS 75 plus was beneficial. Again, the four things we went over today was radiometric video, uh, asset tagging, the IR um, fusion change with the user interface if you scroll your finger back and forth. And what was the last one? You guys probably know I wasn't paying attention enough. Maybe I'll put that in here in a second. I'll put it in a comment when I remember. And then um, finally, if you if you like this, if you want to see me go more in detail on some of this TIS 75 plus, leave it in the comments below. If you have questions or you use the camera right now, let us know that as well. And uh, subscribe and like. Thanks. Have a great weekend.